Hey guys, today we are going to draw a flat design hot dog inside Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing we want to do is go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Next we go to window and open up your transform panel right here. For me it's already down in the corner. From here you go to this menu and uncheck align new objects to pixel grid. This will make everything more precise when we start drawing. Now select the rounded rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this. And while still holding down the mouse key, press and hold the up arrow on your keyboard. This will increase the radius of the corners. Hold it down until you have a nice rounded shape. If you want the same proportions for your illustration as I have, you can easily just count the squares. Now make the stroke wider for this shape and go to the stroke panel and align the stroke to the outside. This will be very important later when we do the shadows. Now select the shape we just made, copy the shape and move it up. Now right click the shape and go to arrange and send to back. Now we need to make the sausage. So once again, select the rounded rectangle tool and draw the sausage down here. We want the sausage to be longer, but less tall than the buns. Then go to the stroke menu and align the stroke to the outside. Now move the sausage and place it between the two buns. Now right click, go to arrange and send backward. Now for the condiment, select the line tool and draw a line like this. Make this line a lot wider and go to the stroke menu and select round cap. Now go to effect, go to distort and transform and select zigzag. From here you can click the preview button and check smooth instead of corner. Ridges is how many waves you want and the size is the distance from the high to the low waves. Something like this looks fine to me. Click OK. Now while still having your condiment selected, go to object, go to expand appearance, then go to object again and expand. And from here just click OK. Now the condiment is a shape instead of a stroke. This means we can add an outline to the condiment to make it match the rest of the illustration. So choose the same width for the stroke as the rest of your illustration. And once again, go to the stroke menu and align the stroke to the outside. From here we can start coloring the illustration. So for the fill of the condiment, choose a bright yellow. If you want the same color as me, I will leave a download link down in the description. Now select the buns and make these two a brown orange color. For the sausage, choose a more red color. So now we need to do the shadows and the more subtle details of the illustration. So to do the shadows on the bun, select the bun and go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Then while still having this selected, uncheck the stroke. You will not be able to see the difference because it's a copy on top of the original shape, as you can see if I move it. Now we need a copy of this copy. So while still having the copy selected, once again go to edit, go to copy and go to edit again and paste in front. So now we have two copies. So while having the front copy selected, hold down the shift key and click up on your arrow key twice. Now while having this shape selected, hold down the shift key and click this shape so both shapes are selected. Now go to the shape builder tool, hold down the alt key to get a minus symbol next to the arrow, then click and drag until you delete these two shapes, leaving behind the shape that is the shadow. Now select the shadow shape and while having the button color selected, double click the fill. When choosing a nice color for the shadow, select the color that is a little bit more saturated by going to the right and a little bit darker by going down. Click OK. Now do the same steps for the sausage. Now for the upper bun, we just want a straight line of shadow right here. So select the bun, go to edit, go to copy, go to edit again and paste in front like before. Unselect the stroke and now we have a bun without a stroke. Then go to the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this. Then go to the selection tool and while having the rectangle selected, hold down the shift key and click the bun underneath. Now go to the shape builder tool, hold down the alt key to subtract shapes and subtract these two shapes. While having this shape selected, choose the eyedropper tool and give it the same color as the other shadow. Now before doing the shadow on the condiment, we want to do the knots on the sausage. So select the line tool and draw a small line like this and make the line wider. Now go to the width profile and select this profile. Then go to effects, go to warp and go to arc. Then arch the shape a little bit. About 10% should do it. Click OK. Now go to object, 
go to expand appearance, go to object again and click expand. Now select the shape, go to edit and go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Then rotate the front copy a little bit. Now select both the shapes, right click and click group. Turn it a little bit and place it at the end of the sausage. Now select it, hold down the alt key to duplicate it and rotate it so it matches the roundings. Put it in the end. Now we need to do some small details on the illustrations. This means that we want to disable snap to grid. So go to view again and unselect snap to grid. Now we can add the shadow to the condiment by doing the same steps as with the bun and the sausage. Now all the shadows are done and we need to add the highlight and the small imperfections in the bread. So select the eyedropper tool and select the color from the shadow on the bread. Now go to the ellipse tool and draw a small ellipse. Now copy this ellipse a couple of times and vary the sizes. For the highlights we just copy one of the larger ellipses and place it in the top of the bun. Give this ellipse the same color as the bun and double click on the color and select a brighter color. Now copy this ellipse and place it next to it. Make it a little bit smaller. If you want more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my other videos on the end card.